Welcome to Firebird Studios. In this tutorial, we're gonna look at the layout of the lab so you better understand how you can use it and have multiple students in the lab at the time. As you walk into the room, one of the things you'll notice right away is that we have four recording stations set up for students. One of the key things you'll look at is the number of microphones at each station. While our internal area over here is a private room that can be set up with three different students and a sound engineer, allowing for four students, when we look at other areas, such as these here, we have two to three microphones per station. When we add in a sound engineer, we usually add at least one student to each setup. When you come into the lab, it's important to note that it generally is open, but we create space by putting up our varying curtains, which you'll see hanging close to the wall. This creates for a varied sound setup so that we don't have travel of sound across different labs. The microphones are set so that students should be able to speak directly into them without having to speak very loudly to get a good quality sound recording. It's also important to note that while in Firebird Studios, we actually have editing stations set up as well. These are places where students could use the available Macs to edit any of their previously recorded sounds or to use some of the Blue Yeti microphones that are there to do independent projects or narration. Finally, we also have our television area here where teachers can demonstrate how to use a lot of the, the software and tools available in the room with the Apple TV that's connected. One of the biggest challenges when recording audio in a room with others is that the feedback from other people's sound will interrupt your recording. We've done our best to account for this by using the directional sound speakers hanging over the top of these three stations. If you look up when you're in these stations, you'll see a awkward looking box near the top. This is a directional sound speaker. The way it works is that it plays sound loudest for people who are sitting in these locations. And the sound drowns out once you move into a further away area. It'll be harder to hear. So between the mix of putting the recording studio curtains up and our directional sound speakers, students will be able to play back their sound for their entire group when they do a recording without concern that they'll be interrupting others. And within the private recording studio that's here, closing the door will help. Although it's important to note that anybody who's in the private recording studio doesn't have quite the same filtering that others do. So they'll want to keep their, their tone and volume down just a little bit so they don't interrupt other people's recordings. And that's how you'll set up multiple users in the audio recording lab known as Firebird Studios.